Allah put barakah on our plate. The sunnah of the Prophet we imitate. My father says, sorry, I don't mean to be crude. After we finish from our plate, why don't we pray in congregation to the Lord of creation? On the last Jum'ah of this Ramadan in isolation, I will cry to the Almighty Lord of creation. And tears of happiness flow down my cheek, just as the waters that flow from a creek. Because the sunnah of the Prophet was resurrected, a salat fi buyutikum was uttered. O oh Allah, let us cry again in the masjid as a solution and as a gift that will come after a Ramadan of isolation. Jazakallah khair Hassan. And Hamad is sitting home. I would like to thank him as well. So the, all the idea and the inspiration and writing behind is Hamad Nuna. Jazakallah khair Hamad. So inshallah moving forward, as I need to explain, the purpose of being here today is, Alhamdulillah, this is the blessed month of Ramadan. And this is the fundraising program for Sari Jamia Masjid. And I've been seeing in this masjid for 20 years, the best way to reach, our, reach out our community, brother and sister, is the physical. But this time, due to the pandemic isolation, you are sitting home, there is a no way we can reach you out. So we took this the technology, Facebook, YouTube, media, to reach out our brother and sister. This is your house. This house of Allah is your responsibility. And I am proud that my brother and sister under the community of Sari Jamia Masjid, they are very vibrant. They always say back to the call of Khalisa whenever he stood in the month of Ramadan for us to take out $150,000 is not a big deal, 20 minutes. So inshallah moving forward, I would like to call Mufti Muad Shah that inshallah if he can to say a few words about the blessing of this blessed month, the blessing night, inshallah, then we will go moving forward. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala Rasulihi al-Kareem, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. I begin with the most beloved words to the Nabi alayhi salatu wa sallam. Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anna Wallah you are most forgiving and you love to forgive so forgive us Wallah forgive us Respected scholars, ulama, hafad al-Quran, brothers and sisters, viewers and listeners All this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah said from the Quran وَرَبُّكَ يَغْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْطَارُ Your Lord creates and selects. Allah created many days, and for all these days, Allah selected the day of Jum'ah. And Allah created many months, and for all the months, He, he selected the month of Ramadan. Allah Ta'ala created many nights, and for all these nights, Allah selected to us, for us, Laylatul Qadr, the night of dignity, the night of honor, the night of power. Respected viewers and listeners, it is only the love of Allah to us and to his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah promised Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى O Muhammad, certainly Allah will grant you until you are pleased, until you are pleased. And Allah Ta'ala says, وَكَانَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكَ عَظِيمًا O Muhammad, the grace and the virtue of Allah Ta'ala upon you is great. One of these virtues Allah Ta'ala blessed us with the month of Ramadan. Respected viewers and listeners, do you know what made this month special? Allah says, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنِ This month became blessed because of the Qur'an. Jibreel alayhi salatu salam is the best angel because of the Qur'an. And Nabi alayhi salatu salam selected, been selected as the last Nabi and the best Nabi because of the Qur'an. This Ummah been selected as the best Ummah because of the Qur'an. The month of Ramadan, the best month because of the Qur'an. As long as we link ourselves with the Qur'an, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us. Respect viewers and listeners, I would love to share with you two hadith. And this two hadith will give us and guide us, these two hadith. Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sab'atun yudhulluhum Allah fi dhulli. Seven people will be under the shade of Allah. The day will be no shade except his shade. Subhanahu. One of the seven people, رَجُلٌ قَلْبُهُ مُعَلَّقٌ بِالْمَسَاجِدِ A man, a person whom his heart is attached to the masjid. We prove ourselves, respected viewers, please listen attentively. We prove ourselves to Allah that we deserve to be under the shade of His. Why? In the time of pandemic, the time of lockdown, our hearts still connected to the house of Allah Ta'ala. Proof of that tonight, you and I were getting together in the house of Allah to raise a fund only for the house of Allah. The next hadith I want to share with you, we know that if we take a sponge and we dip it in water and we take it out and we squeeze it, what will come out? Water. If you take the same sponge and you dip it in honey and you squeeze it, what will come out? Honey. Please listen to these words. Tonight is a blessed night. As Allah Ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi mubarakah. Certainly we descend, we reveal the Quran in a blessed night. Means, anything enters in this night, anybody witness this month, this night, you will be a blessed person. Any person is like when the sponge is dipped in any liquid, whatever you squeeze it will come out. Same thing respected to us and listeners. All of us, we entered the night of blessings. Certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be blessed with us. This night Allah gave it only to the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Khayrun min alfi shahar. Better than a thousand months. Not only that. Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruhu fiha. After the demise of the Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam, Abu Bakr and Umar went to Umm Ayman, she cried. They asked her, why are you crying? She said, I know that Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam will not come again. Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam will not come again to this Ummah. But in this night, Tanazzalu al-malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi ibn rafiq min kulli amr. In this night, the angels and the ruh, the spirit, the spirit, Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam will descend to this earth. Again, it shows the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this ummah. Enter Maqlar al Fajr, enter the dawn. I request all of you to recite the dua, Allahumma inna ka afuun, to hibbu al afwa, fa'afu anna, Allahumma inna ka afuun, to hibbu al afwa, fa'afu anna, wa akhir da'wana, and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. So that was a little bit boost up and inspiration. Now we are coming to the actual part of tonight, which is the fundraising. Before I request Karyatul Wahafsa, I would like to engage the community that how they can help us, how they can help the House of Allah, how they can help their own house, which is Sri Jamia Masjid, which you have done all in the past. So there are four ways which we have described. The first way is sitting home. All of you are, mashallah, this time having a smartphone. Best utilize of the smartphone tonight is just go and e-transfer at dcma.com. I once again e-transfer at dbcma.com. Once again, I'm going to say E as an elephant, T as in Tom, R as in Romeo, A as in Alpha, N as in Nancy, S as in Sam, F as in Frank, E as in Alpha, E as in Echo, R as in Romeo, at dbcthebcma.com. Once you're ready to interact e-transfer, I would like my brother and sister to please mention that this money is for Sari Jamia Masjid. Second, in your contents, please mention if this money is a sadaqah 
is this money is a zakat or is this money is for muster donation? So it can be utilized in the proper hand. Second way, we have shared a platform which you might not see here, but all of you, we have sent it to you. The platform is simple, say, it's very self-explanatory. If you guys can fill up that form, and we have provided two emails, Sari Delta Chairperson at the BCMA.com, and the other email is the Sari Jamia Mustard at gmail.com. So you attach this platform and send it to us, inshallah, we will process. And the third way is, you can just simply drop in. Our tent office is open, which is Alhamdulillah, whole month. I would say thanks to Brother Hassan Malam, our ex-director. He helped us, he gave a big hand, available, and make him available every day. He's still here. So you guys can come and drop in your check and cash, and we will provide the, the tax deductible receipt at the spot. And the fourth way is to make a phone call, register your pledges with Brother Janif, who is secretary for our branch. His number is 604-783-6758. Once again, Brother Janif, secretary, 604-783-6758. And with him, our treasurer, Brother Hassan, is sitting. His number is 604-760-1129. Once again, 604-760-1129. And our director fundraising, Brother Anis, is also sitting in tent office. You guys can drop in with him, or you can just simply make a phone call and register your platform. And his number is 604-341-3571. Once again, 604-341-351. Once again, 604-341-3571. So inshallah, without wasting much of the time, I will pass this mic to Karisa, so inshallah we start our actual fundraising.